think it's really important to see women in different lights and to see women have agency and power because it's reflective of the women who actually exist in this world. Ryan really wanted to tell a story where women played a role similar to the, the kinds of roles women play in his life. And so what we have is really powerful women and they're really different and they're different in their power. And them assuming their power doesn't in any way diminish the male power. And I think it's a beautiful image of what is possible in the world, you know, if we just get out of each other's way and allow each other to realize our full potential. I think what's really cool about the Marvel Universe is every superhero that they introduce does really have his own, their own uh, personality. And so the Black Panther is one of the only, I think, superheroes that is also a ruler of a nation. So his responsibilities, his sense of self and sense of duty is going to be different from uh, other superheroes. And I hope this is just a widening of the Marvel Universe and we'll see how this then affects the rest of the Marvel Universe. I liked the fact that she is this independent woman and she uh, is this lone wolf that also has a real sense of loyalty to her country. I love that she's stealthy and goes under the radar and she has all these skills. I love how well she fights as well, uh, how intelligent she is and I love the effect she has on the king. Well, I hope it sparks a long overdue conversation, a pan-African conversation. Um, I hope people are able to relate to it. I hope it sparks questions and debate about who are we and who are our people, you know? What are borders? What do borders mean to us, you know? I think that's an important conversation for all of us to have, honestly.